Hello, and welcome to this Link POS training video. In this video, we're going to be talking about adding new items into Link POS. Adding items is one of the first and foremost things you need to do after installing Link POS. Link POS makes the process of adding items simpler than any other point of sale software on the market. So, to add items, head on over to the Items tab. In the drop down that appears, click on this Items option. This will open up the Items table. Note that when you first install Link POS, this table will be empty. There are two main ways to add items. The first way is the most simplest one and is only offered by Link POS. To add items using the first way, click on this globe sign in the top left corner. This opens up the online Link POS item adder. All you have to do is choose the items you want to add and click on this tick and Link POS will automatically add the items for you. To do this, please make sure you're connected to the internet. The second way to add items is to click on this plus sign in the top left corner. This opens up the form that allows you to enter item information. Note that the fields with the red stars next to them are a must and have to be filled out. Start off by giving the item its code. This is a unique barcode that will be used to identify the item. Another good feature of Link POS is that it allows you to directly print the barcodes using this print button. The section on the right can be used to insert item images into Link POS. There are four main ways that can be used to insert images into Link POS. You can add an image by browsing and downloading it from the Link POS image downloader. To add an image using this method, please make sure you're connected to the internet. Choose the image and click on this tick in the top left corner. This will automatically adjust the image for its size and insert it into Link POS. Or you can add an image by looking for it on your computer. You can connect the camera or a webcam and use it to capture a live image. Or you can scan an image into Link POS. In the next field, enter the name of the item followed by the unit of measure. When you first install Link POS, the unit of measure, item category, item brand, and manufacturer will be empty. You have to enter the options yourself. To add these options, head on over to the lists menu. In the drop down that appears, you can see these options. So, to enter a unit of measure, click on the unit of measure button. This will open up the table that allows you to see the currently added options. To add a new option, click on this green plus sign in the top left corner. This will open up the window that allows you to add a new option. Enter the unit of measure and hit save. When you come back to the items form, you will see that it has been added. Do this for all four of them. Next, set the selling price followed by the status. The status allows you to set whether the item is currently being sold or is on hold for some reason. Set the minimum and maximum selling quantity, followed by the reorder level. Setting the reorder level allows Link POS to warn you when the stock of an item reaches a specific level. If you have any additional comments to add about this item, do so in the comment section. Hit save, and as you can see, the item has been added to your list. There are two main ways to edit information about items. You can simply double click on the item and it opens up the item editor. Or you can choose the item and click on this edit button in the top left corner. This will open up the item editor. Change the things that you need and hit save. This will update the information. We hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below.